there is definitely more fidelity, but I think that is, especially if you're going in terms of resolution, it is just pixel density. Yeah. Essentially. It's like you can make, like, look at The Last of Us on the PS4. That game still looks incredible. Yeah, it, I think... Yeah. Go on, I have sorry. A theory, I have a theory that why the like PS4 to PS5 and Xbox One to Xbox Series X hasn't been as impressive of a leap is just because of uh, outside of resolution is just because of pixel density. It's just mm. like if, let's just say if um, resolution flatlined at 1080p, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> which is you never it? want that. <laughs> but but um, then let's say like TVs were still 1080p, but then you had the PS5 hardware. Mm. Like games would look like movies basically because like, you're not having to render eight times the pixels to hit 4k i think resolution will flatline at 4k i think yeah. us going um, from once everyone is rocking 1440p and there is mass adoption of 4k kind of like what we're seeing now with the jump from 1080p to 1440p once we're doing that from 1440p to 4k and then everyone kind of yep. gets to 4k it is monitor companies um and tvs they're going to be hard pressed to get 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 gamers to buy an 8k display and yep. i'm not even familiar enough with it can you get 6k without going into a weird aspect ratio you probably could yeah i was thinking like some like sort of there had to there has, has to be, to be between, something there just like 1440p the, the 1440p version right yeah but at the end of the day like this is like where it becomes like i think you're right i think 4k is there's no real need to push higher than that just based on diminishing returns right like rendering 8k versus 4k is yes dramatically Stupid. more intensive um but like let's say you've got a on on pc a 32 mm. inch monitor on your desk whether that's ultra wide 34 mm. or 32 16 by 9 that's a big monitor right that's that's a decent sized desk monitor and most people mm. wouldn't be able to fit much more than that on the desk mm. at 32 inches the pixel density for 4k is in, like you know is impressive right um like if you were to have a 32 inch 8k display there is it's you you may not even notice a difference no what's the what will. the problem is is you now have to turn windows scaling up to like 200 yeah. percent because your mouse is yeah. so damn small that you don't yep. even know where it is i've used i when i was benchmarking cards we had an 8k display just to light the 20 series cards essentially on fire like this even though we're getting like fucking oh beep that uh 10 <laughs> 10 frames a second or, or whatever yeah. we just wanted to push it but when everything was at 8k there was hardly any difference unless you were looking for the like specific differences between 4k and 8k in games it was just yeah. the density of the pixels on the screen and yes it did make it look better but say it depends on where you're sitting as well like if you're sitting yeah. at a at a desk and at a reasonable distance i usually try and put my monitors about an arm's length away that's where i like them um and I, I run i'm running a 4k display now if that was at 8k and i was sitting an arm's length away yeah i might be able to tell some differences out but then again i like i review monitors but if i gave it to like yeah, my right. best friend and did a side by side i don't think he would even be able to pick it out and yeah. most like some game like if you plug a console into an 8k display and you're playing on your bed there's no difference between 4K and 8K when you, you know, three meters back or like... Oh, yeah, there isn't. Yeah, that's right. So like if you go, like the only place it makes sense, and this is the only reason why I think 8K displays are coming out or make sense. And it's, it's it has to be with movies, right? So mm. if you look at movies that are shot on uh, 35 millimeter film, mm. which is the traditional cinema scope widescreen movies, yeah. 35 millimeter film. Mm. And if you go to um, IMAX, which is like 60 mil or 65 millimeter, like that huge, gigantic yeah. film that they film on, right? 
Now, if you were to translate that or scan that in and convert that to a Blu-ray, convert that to a, a TV, like you know, 4K Blu-ray and, or whatever it is, right? To make it like native, to make it look, for a display to be able to make it look exactly like if you were just projecting the film, yeah. like for a 35 millimeter, it works out to be about 6K. And I think with IMAX, it's like 8K or around about there. 70 so mil thing, is. Yeah, 70 mil yeah. is like, eight, yeah. So it's like 8K. Um, so, and then, and uh, it's only when you have a display that's about 77 inches and higher that the pixel density um, <clears throat> is noticeable mm. in terms of being able to have that image. So at the end of the day, like if you, had, let's say you had like an 85 or 90 inch screen and it was 8K. Like, I mean, that's primarily a movie screen, right? It's like Definitely. Sure you can play console games on it and it's going to be amazing. But it's not, like you're not talking about, like you sh- we shouldn't be designing gaming hardware to match that screen. Yeah, like no, you've 100%. Got PC games. People are playing on monitors. People are playing like on 55, 65 inches, which, are, which is the, you know, like the, the perfect size for most living rooms or most um, seating areas or bedrooms or whatever the case is or studies yeah. or or wherever you've got your TV, 55 inch, 65, you know, 4K, like there's no reason to go above 4K. I think. Yeah, and when you're at 77 inches or whatever and mm. you're looking at 1080p, it's stretched. It's going to look garbage. Yeah. So so you, you, you're you limit, now limited with the, t- with the TV or monitor that you have to titles and movies that are 4K and above. Because That's if right. you're and watching also, yeah. like old movies that are, you know, in t- Blu-rays are all in 1080p unless you go in like the 4K. Um, but the good thing is that Blu-rays and 1080p scales really well on a 4K display. Yeah, but going from going from 1080p to 8K, it's not going to scale as well. You're That's gonna have problem, to right? change the resolution of your <laughs> TV. Well, yeah, it, like it's just the source material. Then it's like with LCDs, like you know, with um, 4K displays and standard def. You know, like DVD yeah, resolution yeah, yeah. stuff. You know how it just doesn't look great. Yeah. But like, but DVD resolution stuff looked pretty good on 1080 displays. Yes. It's because it's just because like when the gap is so much higher, that's why like if you had like an 8K display and you were gaming on it, you know, you, you kind of like need a 4090, you need DLSS, you need to try and upscale, you need to... You're doing it all Because of it. otherwise it's just not going to look as good. 